What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Movie Social. I'm your host, Ricky, and this is Stefan, my co-host. Excuse some ladies and gentlemen. So, on this episode, we're going to be talking about another Netflix series that I think everybody should watch. It's called Blood and Water. Don't watch it if you don't like the good end. We're not going to go there. But it's a six-episode show set in Africa with African actors. It is in English for the most part. <laughs> it's really interesting. It actually has a great dynamic. So basically, the show starts off. I'm not even. Going, I won't even go into what it starts off as because I want you guys to watch it. This will be a spoiler-free episode. So the premise of the show is. His family's daughter was taken basically at birth out of the hospital. Her, the younger daughter has grown up to be a teenager now. They're all in high school. They've been celebrating the kidnapped daughter's birthday each year. But this year, she goes out to a party on that birthday. Now, the whole show takes center stage of another young girl that she finds on the show at this party whose actual birthday it is that day she suspects that that's her sister and it plot thickens of course when other characters become involved in both that and her family's issues and the case of her daughter of her sister being missing is reopened and new evidence is starting to come about so it really goes into detail and gets real interesting in only six episodes. So, it's really good. I'm hoping they come back for season two. Y'all check it out and watch it and let us know what y'all thought about it. Personally, to me, I love the, the show. I don't know what this guy is talking about at the ending. The ending left off at a perfect spot for a sequel. If it's not a sequel, then yeah, we have a problem with the ending. So, go ahead. Yours. My thoughts. So it was it was a good premise, it was a good plot. Um it was the character development, yeah, you know, I felt like the main character was doing too much at times. And like I'm not, not the actor, but just the character's premise. I felt like they were too, doing too much at times. Like, yo, you you you're doing too much. Um but the plot, it was a really good plot. It was, a, you know, it was a good idea. It was a good show. The only thing I said, I don't like the ending. Now, again, granted, if they come back up with a, uh, a season two, that'll be great. But if they just gonna leave it like that, I think that would be, that was one of the I'm just gonna the game of thrones and leave it out. That was a game of thrones. That was just it left you wanting more. Like. Uh, that's what a good show is supposed to do. Leave you wanting more. But that's my thing. Like now, if it was, like I say, if if it's more, if it's another season, perfectly fine. You know, just gotta wait another season. I mean, because there's there's some the seasons that leave you like with like basically like oh that's it. But then you know for sure that there's another season. Sometimes you don't know if you put that season. That's my thing. Unless you did the show. With Netflix, they signed the multi-year deal. Multi-year deal. That's well, what most I'm... of our shows is generally one episode, one season start and then continue on. But given everything going on right now with this virus and all that, most productions is just now trying to figure out when they're going to pick back up. So we don't know what Netflix is going to do. I mean, Netflix made a ton during this time, so they have the budget. If you ask me. Yeah, and I, like I said, if if they have a second season, I will retract. What I said, uh, and, and on the next video of Love and Water Review, I will go into the job. I will you know, retract my apology. But if they don't, yeah, it was a pretty bad. That's all. It's a great show. Y'all should check it out, though. Trust me, you will not regret watching this show. And I mean, 
It was only about, what, 30 minute episodes, too? No, it was longer than that. It was like 45 minutes. Ah, roughly, roughly 30 minutes, because you kind of. I'm, co- I'm not counting these credits at all because the credits. Keep in mind, but it literally I means it says like 48 minutes and it's got the credits like three. Trust me, you won't feel no time going past that much. I watch it all in one day. You can all watch it too. It was really interesting though. Would love to do a spoiler on it, but I'm not going to. So, y'all go watch it on Netflix. Again, it's called Blood and Water. Six episodes. Yes, only six. Y'all let us know what y'all thought about it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on the notifications so that way y'all know when we're back on the airways. See y'all.